A family physician in Bedford, Nova Scotia, says he's seeing a growing demand for sick notes that are so detailed he feels they violate the privacy of his patients, and he's starting to push back at the companies that require them. The employers should not need to know a medical diagnosis. Here's a summary of the article. Dr. Paul Young gets requests to fill out the two-page forms several times a week, which the Nova Scotia family physician says are a privacy violation and a waste of everyone's time. Dr. Paul Young said some insurance companies and absence management corporations are now demanding he fill out a two-page form for absences of two days or longer, including illnesses such as gastrointestinal problems, common colds and migraines. The employers should not need to know a medical diagnosis, said Young. Young said the worst offender is Morno Sheppel, a company that provides absence management services. Young said the situation is so bad that he's calling on the provincial government to ban the requirement for sick notes for absences under five days. Young says there should be a ban across Canada on sick notes. Young said a sick note ban should be done across Canada. This post received a score of 47,545, with an upvote ratio of 95%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. My father came in and he told us he had a very bad cancer. I called my job and said I wouldn't come in because I want to stay with him for the night. The boss told me, but we need you, we can't replace you. I was like, I don't give a fuck, he's dying. Then he told me to bring a doctor's paper as proof, lol. Two months later he was dead, there's my proof. I'm glad I stayed with him at home that night. I love that they say, we need you, we can't replace you, and then when you actually do what you need to they'll say something like, well don't bother showing up anymore, we found someone else who is willing to be here, yeah, real irreplaceable. Thanks guys. My favorite it is when they'd say, we need you, the store will have to close, then they absolutely roast me on the quality of my work. Greater than the store will have to close. You're not paying me well enough to be this critical. Damn dude it's like I got on my hands and knees if I had to after mopping the floors and shit to make sure this shit looks tip top shape and my manager still comes in every morning and complains the floors weren't done last night, $9 per hour I quit that job because she said we couldn't use the side door to get to the side smoking area, we had to go out the front and around back to get there. Sales driven environment, everything is about profitability and how well we're meeting metrics. Apparently the best way to do that is employees now have to leave through the back door instead of the front. Compared to our old method of walking 10 seconds to our cars out the front. Regional manager shut that down real fast once a few employees complained about feeling unsafe leaving at night. I don't follow the logic, what was her reasoning for using the back door? Ah don't think I explained the conversion very well. Basically they wanted us hitting a certain percent of traffic converted into sales. The front door had a sensor that was supposed to track how many customers we got. In reality, it counted how many times the front door was opened. Essentially she was worried the approximately 15 door swings from employees showing up, getting lunch, leaving work were making a difference in a store that saw 500 plus door swings daily. Not completely meaningless but damn close. I would have just went in on time off to open, close the door a good 100 extra times just to fuck with her precious numbers. Honestly if there weren't cameras I would have considered it. That job was pretty messed up looking back, people were constantly thinking of new ways to game the metrics. My first manager accused a store in our region of tampering with their door counter because they were always beating him in the stats. Would have been hilarious if it wasn't a bit sad. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.